Imagine a company with 150 patents worldwide. A company whose CEO is known throughout the European Union and the US for his extensive work with sustainable advanced biofuels. A company that secured over $7.5 million in funding their first year. A company with investors like Chevron and other well-established venture firms. Does such an organization exist? Aristine Systems is that company. Headquartered in America's manufacturing and agricultural heartland, Aristine Systems specializes in the design, development, and implementation of controlled flow cavitation, CFC systems, for the biofuels industry. It was Aristine's world-renowned scientist, Dr. Oleg Kozak, who pioneered the concept of using hydrodynamic cavitation in technological and industrial processes and applying it to the production of biofuels. Now the Aristine engineering team is revolutionizing the biofuels industry by converting standard batch processing methods to continuous controlled flow production. How did Aristine do it? With the financial support of forward-thinking investors and a team of scientists and engineers with decades of industry expertise, Dr. Peter Reimers is Aristine's president and CEO. Dr. Reimers designed, built and managed a biodiesel plant and served as a member of the European and National Biodiesel Boards delving into leading issues from fuel performance to sustainability. My family and I moved back to America because I truly believe in the technology and future possibilities of Ariston Systems. My experience in the world market has shown me that there is a real need for this kind of technology. The world's petroleum resources are not unlimited and the larger markets are already turning to biodiesel and ethanol to help offset dependence on petroleum. Fred Clark serves as Aristine's Executive Vice President. His ability to bring engineered products to market has resulted in breakthrough developments for biofuel producers and feedstock providers. Early on, Oleg and Paul recognized that we needed to document proof of concept quickly if we were going to succeed financially. With exploratory funding, our team of engineers was able to install the first biodiesel production unit in a commercial manufacturing facility. Dr. Oleg Kozak is Aristine's chief technology officer, key scientific resource, and lead scientist. For over 30 years, Dr. Kozak has experimented with controlled cavitation in a full spectrum of industrial applications and is now developing new applications for Aristine's technologies in a range of advanced applications and fuels. Right now, we are in the process of building two fully operational biofuel plants to test their develop cavitation technologies even further. We are working to improve our understanding of the fuel production process downstream from the CFC reactor and explore ways to apply cavitation technology to the upstream processing of feedstock as well. With this world-class team in place, it's clear why Aristine Systems was the first company to successfully install a single-stage continuous flow cavitation reactor. Aristine Systems has harnessed the power of its patented static hydrodynamic cavitation and applied it to biofuel production. The conversion from batch technology to a continuous process design reduces the need for large holding or settling tanks, opening up opportunities for very efficient expansion. The Aristine system can be retrofitted to existing biofuel operations, making them more profitable. There are two strong economic advantages the Aristine system provides. It consistently produces biodiesel that exceeds industry standards and it can process a variety of high FFA feedstocks. Biodiesel fuel must now pass a cold soap filtration test or it cannot qualify for incentive credits or be sold on the market. Fuel that flows too slowly in the cold simply will not run in your car or truck. The Aristine reactor system removes unwanted components that slow the flow of biodiesel. This eliminates the need for cold filtration in the production process. In our ongoing research, we produce fuels that not only pass, but also exceed ASTM standards. Feedstocks are a major part of the cost to produce biofuels. The Aristine reactors have the great advantage of being able to use a variety of feedstocks. 
With increased feedstock flexibility, you have more opportunity to manage raw materials cost and reduce your overall cost of goods sold. At Aristyne, we've discovered a way to harness the power of hydrodynamic cavitation. Hydrodynamic cavitation can be produced by passing a liquid through a constricted channel at a specific velocity. A combination of pressure and kinetic energy is created when the low pressure cavern created downstream from the local constriction generates high energy cavitation bubbles. The formation, growth and implosive collapse of these cavitation or vapor bubbles in the liquid releases tremendous localized energy in the form of shock waves. Whether the waves are destructive or productive depends on your ability to control the process. At the edges of the cavity, small amounts of vapor break off, forming smaller and smaller cavities, 100 nanometers to 3 millimeters in diameter. The smaller cavities implode uniformly under the high pressure surrounding them. Controlled flow cavitation technology controls the location, size, density, and intensity of implosion of the bubbles in the zone to create optimum process conditions. It's this advanced understanding of cavitation and the ability to apply to productive process that sets Aerosdyne apart from everyone else in this field. Cavitation can do so many things and we have just begun to explore its potential. Aerosdyne Systems. Innovation for the alternative fuel industry.